Hi, welcome to the Native Wild Man channel. Your host, Sean Catfish Wilson, speaking. And welcome to another Hump Day EDC. We'll start out with my shout out board, Big Tiny's Outdoors, Gonzo's Reviews, Bluminati Ninja, Radina's, Local Taste Better. It's a uh, local. Uh, they have a bakery, and their bread is really good. I definitely recommend it. Women Carry Knives, A Therapeutic Edge, Do Something Kind for Somebody, Nelly B, Catching Them Fish Outdoors, Victoria May, otherwise known as A Quiet Listener, Danny Days Outdoors, I think I mentioned Big Tinies, Grumpy Grunt, And the Grumpy Monkey and the Grumpy Grunt Coin. My Bad Adventures. Yonan's Edge. Big Red EDC. Gal's Southern Living. The Sunfish King. Maddest Faction. Cool knife I got from... Or knife sticker I got from Grumpy. Smoky Mountain Knife Works. ODC for EDC. Off the Hook Outdoors. The Laugh Channel with... Rocco, Hog Deer 79, Taxidermy, Lefty EDC, Jail Bait and Tackle Outdoors, Chillin' Indiana Carl, uh, Sunfish King, again, Fishing's Good, gotta, gotta have that one up there, Matt's Fishing Mission, Zach Stuff, Knives Fast. Okay, now we will get on to my EDCs. These are fixed blade EDCs. Um, they're not in any particular order. <clears throat> Alright, we have my custom Sayax from Uncle Jed's. And see where the brass of the um, sheath is connecting to the handle material. Oh well. It's got green handles. I want to say it's G10, but I'm not sure on that. It's a little rough looking, but I wanted it that way. And here's a sheath to it. Leather sheath. Fits the knife really good. Now probably to my most used EDC fixed blade, my uh, Case mini fin. Stacked leather handle. Definitely a good knife. They both are. They're all pretty good knives. Well, most of them. This is the uh, sheath to the case. As you can see, it's definitely been well used. I put snow seal on it so to protect the leather. See where Cosmo got a hold of it. Silly bird. This is the cold steel birding game. I added a sharpening choil. I modified it a wee bit. This is a gift from Grumpy Grunt. Along with the coin and the monkey. And this is a pretty good little knife. Um, this is W1 Tool Steel, uh, True Sharp, Stainless Steel. Um, I 
Oz8. This is, oh, wait, before I get to that. This is a neck knife. Here's the case to it. Here's a lanyard string I have on it or the to put around my neck. Securex, very secure sheath. Next, we got the Rake, Rook, oh, I'm not sure how to pronounce, Jagger, fixed blade, 4 inch, G10, detachable handle scales, so, which makes me think I can maybe find another set of handle scales for this, it'd be cool, then I can make them green, but I really like the way they did the handle scale, it feels really comfortable in the hand, their overall design, it's super comfortable, super comfortable. Um, this is um, 14C28N Sandvik Steel. And this is the sheath for it. I like to carry it sideways, that way it's not just sticking straight up. That way it kind of goes at an angle. So this is adjustable. You push down on this part here and this will turn. And then it clips back in place. That's pretty cool. Super sturdy. Really good case. It has a bleed hole in it. And the cold still I'm sure probably has a bleed hole too. Or we pull. I'm not sure what they call it, but I'll call it a bleed hole, so it bleeds the water out. Pretty decent one. <laughs> really secure, the knife fits in there really good since I've only got one hand available. This is my K-Bar Hunter. Um, it was super sharp out of the box, but as far as edge retention, this thing's not very good it dulls after about one use one one trip out fishing cutting bait and i cut through green sunfish bluegill and just crappie and i cut their heads off this knife cleave right through it well not really cleave but it'll slice right through it this knife will slice right through it this knife, what little I've used, they'll slice right through the bait, no problem. I don't know about this one. This one, it will cut it, but it dulls pretty quickly, so I'm not very impressed with it. As far as edge retention, it's a nice looking knife. And see, again, we're causing a little hold of it. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a frog in my throat. And I don't like how they made this loose. I wish it had some stitching so it would stay in one place. But other than that, not a bad bad sheet. It's probably definitely the flimsiest and the cheapest out of them all. Or flimsiest. Even the case. Case did a lot better on their sheet than K-Bar. I mean, then last but not least, I have this little handmade knife. I made it out of a unicorn feather. <laughs> dude, unicorns don't have feathers, dude. Did you know that the unicorn's really a one horned rhino? Whoa, cool. Yeah, I, I did know that. So this is, I pounded it out. Or I had help pounding, pounding it out. But as far as like the final fit and finish, which is okay. The sharpness it holds has a pretty good edge. It'll cut through bait really good too. And it doesn't need a sharpened, it needs sharpened more than the case. 
but less than the K bar. It's about in between ish. Feels good in the hand. Um, I really like the way I did this jumping on here. With the different sizes, it's unique. Definitely gives you a good, good um, traction. And the sheath for that is right here. Um, I handmade the sheath. I tried to make it in the neck knife, but it just didn't feel right. As far as um, being sturdy, I'll, I'll hold the knife in good, but hold on. If I shake it hard enough, it'll definitely come out of there, but... Still does a, does a decent job at holding the knife in. Oopsie. Um, I don't know what blade style you would call this, a, uh... Hunter clip point? I don't know. It's kind of different than any of these other knives here. It's like you cut this and added a clip point. Anywho, I like it. I like the way it turned out. It was all file, file work to get it down, to get the uh, blade like that. Then I took a rock and polished it up with a rock. Like a smooth rock, like... um. Something similar to this. Really smooth. Or more akin to this. Real smooth. I just went shh, 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 shh. And um, so far I'm really liking this. My favorite out of all of them, as of now, from using it, would be this one. Then this one. Then this one, this one, this one. But I'm pretty sure that what little I have used this, this is going to probably end up at the top, top of my EDC fixed blade list. Uh, it's just a super comfortable knife. Really nice looking knife. Um, and if you got small hands, you can see... in comparison to my squirrel lighter that way the squirrel king has one of his minions here and this year I'm gonna focus on um, EDC fixed blades that can be hip carried because I prefer hip carry Oh, is that right, Cosmo? I love you. Hello. <laughs> you silly bird. You silly bird. So. And this, um, this I'll definitely be carrying for another week right here. Since I don't have too many fixed blades that are EDC worthy or smaller fixed blades. I'll, I'll EDC a big fixed blade on the weekends when I'm not going to work. But this year I'm going to focus on like four, three to four inch blades like this and these you see here. Yeah, this is probably like two inches. Anyways, 
let me know what you think about my EDC fixed blades. Um, let me know what type of blade style you would call this. I'm kind of curious to see what other knife people would call this blade style. Any of you? Because I know I've got a few of you that like knives. More than a few, but... Peace and long life, my friends. Thank <laughs> you.